Hey, what's up stream keepers and welcome back to my channel. And uh, before we're gonna start to this topic, I actually wanted to give a special shout out to uh, William. Uh, he is based in uh, Germany and he has sent me a very you know, kind message uh, asking me for uh, some questions. However, you know, uh, before before he did, he actually told me that he, he actually enjoyed the, uh, the content that I've been putting out uh, and he, he actually runs a, a, a small shop in Frankfurt, in Germany and he actually introduces his uh, customers to actually uh, view my, my videos as well and uh, he actually thanked me <coughs> uh, that I have been sharing a lot of this uh, information online and uh, he, he thinks that it is uh, very very nice of, of me for doing that and of course you know uh, he, he realized that uh, because he has been searching for a lot of this information and is actually trying to get more uh, knowledge uh, from online. However, he realized that uh, there are a lot of generic or general topics that has been discussed. For example, you know how, how do you actually keep streams, and how do you uh, you know the smooth fail and, and all that all that kind of uh, information. However, as you uh, dive deep deeper into that uh, stream breeding category, you know there has there has been a lot of controversies around what is actually the, the correct information or, or the right information. Uh, so, so he's very grateful that he actually found, found my website and he also found my YouTube channel and he has been introducing to a lot of uh, uh, his, his customers uh, to view my, my channel as well. So a special shout out to you, William. So for today's topic, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about the uh, emergency tank. You know, what do I expect uh, in terms of uh, when you actually have a problem with your tanks or tank or tanks, you know, uh, then what are you actually, uh, you know, what what do you expect? So the one of the trigger point for for me to actually do this video video is because I have been communicating with two guys, uh, one in the U.S. and one in Australia, and they have been telling me that you know their streams has uh, has has died, and the reason for for why the stream has had. Ha uh, was did not survive uh, that that event, and <clears throat> I wouldn't name names here, right? Uh, however, just to protect their identity, uh, I think one of the things most of us uh, overlook is that while we we, we enjoy the the stream breeding, uh, you know, the hobby. However, there are you know pitfalls, and there are also sometimes setbacks. But uh, don't take this as setbacks, right? Take this as set up for greater things to come. And one of the reasons for this is because as we, as we make more mistakes, we actually learn. And you know when we learn, we don't, then we don't uh, make the same mistakes again in future. Hopefully, you know. Uh, however, that if if we don't try to to learn uh, from mistakes, then then basically you are still, uh, you know, just trying out. And and one of the quotes, the famous quotes from Denzel Washington actually mentions, you know, if you if you if you don't fail, you're not even trying, right? So if you fail, don't take it, don't, don't take that as a as a as a setback, but set a, a setup for better things to come. So during times of like you know when when your tank crash, uh, it can be due to uh, your glass polisher liquid, you know, a tissue paper just fl flies in there. Or you know, uh, you can overdose on your on your powders and, and stuff like that. So so there are many reasons on many uh, ways to actually crash a tank, right? So what are what do you really expect? So in the first twelve hours of any tank crash, right? Uh, some of the streams would have already died, and that causes a lot of problems in terms of uh, ammonia spike because the tank is not capable of. You know, combating this uh, ammonia spike, uh, the beneficial bacteria has not gotten to a point where they can actually uh, be able to take that spike. So, so that spike is uh, is what actually kills a lot of the stream. And as more stream die, the ammonia level goes up, and the spike keeps on uh, fluctuating. And and that is what uh, create that cloudy water uh, when you see that there's ammonia uh, spikes and when there's uh, stream dying in the tank. So the, the cloudy water did not kill the stream, but something else actually did. So usually it is a cause and effect thing. Uh, and that is the reason why uh, 
why I do actually usually have at least one spare tank that is cycled, fully cycled, very stable and is always uh, ready to actually take the streams in. Uh, one of that practice is, uh, has, uh, that I've done is because, you know, in terms of these adversaries, right, uh, you actually have these spare tanks that uh, you can actually quickly sh transfer your, your, your streams into. Uh, for example, if let's say I have multiple tanks of crash and I only have one one big tank that is uh, that is cycled. So what can I do? I actually can win, uh, I can I can actually move the streams into breeder box and put them in that tank as well. So uh, it can actually share out to easily you know 10, 10, 10 to ten to twelve breeder box. Uh, if let's say a lot of a lot of my tank crash, so there will be time uh, where you cannot be overly uh, uh, cautious. And that is the reason why I'm emphasizing that you know, while you guys are uh, going into the into this hobby, while you guys are actually expanding out uh, more and more tanks, or even you have maybe like three or four tanks, uh, do always have uh, something that back of your mind. You know, keep it in the back of your mind that you know at some point of time, the tank may crash, right? So what are you gonna do when that happens? So it, it is like a, a contingency plan where you actually uh plan ahead of what may happen so that you know you can actually save as much or as save as many streams as possible during the event so what i normally do let's say for example if there's a crash in the tank what i normally do is that i will just transfer the streams out from the tank and then i'll just do a full reset of the tank because there is really no other uh, faster way to actually uh, cure that tank uh, or try to rectify that and one of the reasons is that even if let's say you put your carbon in there you try to extract all those uh, chemicals uh, at the end of the day the tank has uh, undergone uh, a lot of changes the water isn't stable anymore uh, I'll just chalk it up to experience uh, get get a, a new tank reset and get a tank reset you know start start again and then try to not not to make the mistake again so there are many ways you know you can actually um, make a tank crash right like overdosing and stuff like that so so that that brings me to another point about simplicity and i've been always been an advocate uh, about simplicity uh, keeping your tank simple do not add this do not add that you know um, the basics of the i mean the fundamentals of stream breeding is more important than uh, a, a ton or a series of tons of food that you feed a ton of series of powder that you actually put in uh, all this at the end of the day uh, the, if if use uh, in excess, it can actually harm, do more harm than good. So, so in my opinion, keep your keep the the the, the process simple, keep it all all simple, and then uh, have an emergency tank. So that's one of the things that I really wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, the the reasons and why why do we have a emergency tank. So, so in this update, I actually also wanted to share you know uh, tank update. So I, I didn't want to create just a uh, a video just about my tank updates you know just showing off my, my streams and, and that I, I just wanted to take this opportunity to also uh, you know have a topic that I want to, to discuss about and in, in, in the background you know in, in the pictures over here and the videos over here you can actually see some of the, the, the stream update I mean the tank updates that I actually have uh, in the tank um, and, and one of the one of the reasons for for not doing a video just simply on talking just uh, on, on showing all my setup I think I'm <laughs> I'm not that showy kind of a person. I, I really don't don't want to uh, go around, you know, showing that oh I have this this stream and I have that stream. Uh, so I'll just share it right here so you can actually see them here, and and uh, you know you can just enjoy the, the streams and, and 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 things like that. However, what I will do in the future is that I will do a topic by topic on the type of streams. Like for example, I can talk about the Black Fancy Tiger. The history of how it was being developed uh, by the Taiwanese who developed it, uh, and and then of course I can also talk about the Boas, who you know a lot of people are very interested in it. Uh, what are some of the controversies? Some of the things that you know you can actually do to actually uh, create uh, the Boas, and and so on and so forth. You know then I will uh, do a, a topic on them by itself rather than you know just showcasing. Uh, all my tanks just to just to show you guys what what I have. So I, I I'm not, uh, I I don't think that's 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 me. So, uh, you 
you can actually see all these uh, pictures and videos over here uh, on the tank updates so basically uh, so I, I do have quite quite a number of uh, stream tanks um, and I do have quite a number of streams as well so I think at the end of the day uh, the knowledge is key because once you gain that knowledge uh, basically you can keep almost any of the streams and you can actually be very successful uh, in, in breeding your stream so so my main goal you know my main goal is is for me to actually share as much information as I can uh, that I've learned from Taiwan on a consistent basis because I have been communicating with them almost every week you know trying to learn what's what can be done what what causes what and what is is is, is good and, and stuff like that so um, so that's where I you know do these uh, videos and then I share as much information as I can when I can uh, and I hope that you guys like the video and uh, continue to subscribe to, to my video and if you like this video please remember to give a thumbs up and continue on watching my videos uh, for more great tips about stream breeding thank you very much and peace out